that some hot air balloon baskets are more than 20 feet long and can carry more than 30 people? This pioneering form of human flight was invented in France in the late 1700s. And ever since then, passengers have been taking to the skies for an unforgettable ride and an awesome view. It all starts with a little high-tech basket weaving. First, the frame is constructed. Workers cut pieces of stainless steel tubing. They manually round the corner pieces, then weld all the parts together. A sheet of plywood is cut for the floor. Then holes are drilled into it for stainless steel support cables. These cables will reinforce the floor against the passenger's weight. After marking off the area that the basket walls will occupy, workers run the cables under the floor, which is lying upside down, leaving extra cable on both ends to come up the sides of the basket. Then they notch a groove that is the width of the cables and runners. Runners are lengths of ashwood that protect the base of the basket and give it rigidity. After bolting the runners down, workers use a branding iron to burn the company logo into the floor. A spray coat of lacquer will prevent moisture from rotting the wood. Larger baskets need diagonal reinforcement cables for extra support. The basket walls are made of cane, the stiff stems of a tropical Asian plant. The cane soaks overnight in a water tank. By morning, it's supple and the weavers can begin their craft. They start by installing uprights, attaching each one to the frame at the top and bottom with a thin piece of cane. Then they feed the support cables from the floor up through the frame. The uprights are 18 inches apart along the sides and 4 inches apart around the corners. The weavers fill the gaps with thinner uprights every 2 inches. The uprights are tied to the frame and floor with rope. Once they're installed, it's time to build the basket walls from the bottom up by interlacing horizontal canes. A pair of weavers can finish a small basket in a day. Large baskets can require a four-person team and take up to three weeks to complete. Weavers use two techniques, randing, going in and out with one cane, and whaling, weaving three canes at once. Whaling makes a more solid basket, but one that's significantly heavier because it uses triple the amount of cane. Some models have stainless steel steps woven into the basket. These give passengers a better foothold when climbing in. The weaving ends just below the top of the frame. Weavers finish off the job by splitting the remainder of each upright down the center with a utility knife, then flattening and wrapping what's left around the frame. The weavers integrate rope handles at the top of the basket so passengers have something to hold on to during the ride. They also put handles at the bottom for carrying the basket. Now they pad the frame with foam, cutting holes to let the support cables through. The foam provides both comfort and safety, cushioning passengers from the hard metal during a bumpy ride. After taping the foam pieces together to prevent shifting, workers slip on a leather cover and lace it closed. Finally, with a few bangs of the hammer, workers expose the short tubing to which the load frame will connect. The load frame carries the burners high above the basket. A heating coil surrounds each burner. To make this piece, workers first wrap a stainless steel tube around a form then rivet on a reinforcement band. The basket carries lightweight fuel tanks containing cold liquid propane. The propane flows upward into the coil. When the pilot fires up a burner, the flame heats the coil, transforming the propane flowing inside from liquid to gas. The gas feeds the flame, which heats the air inside the balloon. Hot air is lighter than cool air, so the balloon literally rises to the occasion.